goal is to win a race in the fastest time. All around the world, fans have their eyes turned to Paris as the 2024 Summer Olympic Games are about to get underway. But here in the Midlands, one track team is helping its young athletes one day reach the world stage. Our Sam Shapiro joins us now after sitting down with the Elite Speed Track Club as they gear up to send a number of their athletes to a Junior Olympics competition. Pretty exciting for these kids. Yeah, pretty exciting. They got a, a competition coming up in a couple weeks, but Coach Jamar Goodwin, also known as Coach Ja, uses his track club elite speed to make sure young athletes put their best foot forward in life and on the track. And this method to his coaching madness now helping multiple young athletes punch their ticket to the Junior Olympics in Greensboro, North Carolina. People make transformations to become the better version of themselves. Coach Ja created the Elite Speed Track Club in July 2023 with just nine kids on the roster. Over the last year, he has used his background as a personal trainer to grow his team. In one calendar year, he's grown his roster size to 60 athletes, ranging from ages 5 to 18. His hope to help young athletes thrive. And so I'm able to take that into the track and field world, and now we can help, help these young kids become the best versions of their adult self because the things that we teach these kids, they're going to be able to have with them for a lifetime. Coach Ashley saw Goodwin trying to build up the team last July. She wanted to support what he was doing, so she signed her child up to compete while she took to the sidelines. She's been a coach ever since, helping him get the track club off the ground. And then in bringing my own kids to practice and saw myself really found myself, I should say, um, getting involved and wanting to be a part of the coaching on the track field. Let's just say I haven't been able to remove myself since then. <laughs> Elite Speed Track Club had an exciting first year of competition with almost a third of their roster landing a trip to compete at the 2024 Junior Olympics. In addition to holding their first annual Carolina Classic track meet, Elite Speed finished in fifth as a team at the AAU South Carolina District Qualifier. This set the stage for 17 athletes to qualify for the Junior Olympics, competing in the 100, 200, 400, 4 by 100 meter relay and 4 by 400 meter relay, in addition to shot put, triple jump, high jump, long jump, and javelin. It's an amazing accomplishment. You know, one of the things I always say is you never, you know, despise small beginnings. And so to see how far we've grown as a track team to make it to Junior Olympics, I think is really a testament of this amazing track program that Coach Ja has established. But nobody felt more accomplished than the athletes and the hard work they put in over the track season. Many of who I spoke with Wednesday told me this past year was their first or second year competing in the sport. While all four are multi-sport athletes, many of them were surprised and excited to see themselves qualify. I'm just excited that I'm actually doing this and stuff. And I'm like, wow, my first year doing track and I'm already going to the Junior Olympics. I'm really proud of myself. And I was surprised when I threw like a 10.04 and like the rest of the kids were like throwing like a like a nine point some like a nine point eight or nine point nine. Like it was like surprising. I give honor to yeah, God and Coach Ja and my other coaches for helping me with a lot of things with my form and running and jumping so I can qualify. So like when I first started I didn't think that I was gonna be this good because it was my first year. But like I knew that I was athletic and stuff and Coach Ja really helped me because like I wasn't that good when I first started. While the young athletes are proud of what they've accomplished, the parents were even more happy to see their kids shine. They say Coach Jaw's team has created more than just talented athletes, but like his desires, has coached up even better people. They keep it really calm, cool, and level-headed, and Coach Jaw has a relationship with these kids that I've never seen anyone have. He can joke with them and still remain really serious. I really um, enjoy how they coach and how they can be a, a presence without uh, the yelling. Now, Greg, you didn't tell me you were a runner back in the day. Ah, more sprints than anything else. But uh, yeah, and, and as for you, Sam, yeah. uh, you're the long distance runner. Yep, I uh, certainly went the distance in college. Yeah, so, so tell me what you think. I mean, he's got it going on there with yeah. these kids. You know, I, I always say to you guys, you know, a good coach makes a great athlete, yeah. but a great coach changes a life. And it really looks like, you know, some of the work they're doing with elite speed, they're changing lives. Yeah. I mean, when you go from nine kids on your roster to 60 kids, 
speaks volumes. It sure does. Well, thanks, Sam. I couldn't have said it better myself. Wonderful report. Thanks for sharing that story with us. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right, let's get to meteorologist Eric Zernick taking a look at this forecast. Adam, uh, we, or Adam, oh my goodness, Eric Zernick. I tell you what, it was one of these things that <laughs> on the track, there's definitely some fire on that track and the temperatures are pretty hot too. <laughs> yeah, things were definitely heating up as far as the temperatures today.